guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing another pinterest goals i am going to be playing with leather today now i've seen a couple of things it's on my pinterest board i've been looking at them and i've been looking in the stores and leather and faux leather is having its moment like it does every autumn because it's like a layering piece and um yeah i have a bunch of faux leather i picked up some really nice stuff in paris and i had some ideas and i figured Now's a good time to tackle them. Let's get it done and uh, then, I, then I can wear them. I'm really excited. So let me show you the ideas that I'm looking at. I might do more than one because I have a few different pieces of um, leather and faux leather to work with. Okay, so here we are on the old laptop. These are all the leather things that I've been looking at. The ones that I'm really drawn to is this one here. This is like a leather um, dress, like a little mini dress. If I go back, I traced that dress because I had to find out what it was. It is from Todd's 2024 collection, and that's what it looks like. So it's like a kind of square-necked um, dress with, uh, we've got darts here and kind of body-shaping darts there. So a fairly simple um, dress, um, which I absolutely, I think I want to make. So that's one. I love this. I don't even know why. It's reversible so one side goes all the way up to the top. I love it so much with the jumper and the collar. I love the whole thing. So it kind of looks like a just like a normal trapeze tent dress but with like a really low back. Um, so I think that would be quite a simple make. And then the other thing that I'd really like in leather is a just like a leather oversized shirt. Something along the lines of this. So that is like a utility shirt. It's quite long. You can wear it by itself. You can wear it tucked into stuff. And I actually have a cream. See look, look at this. How nice is this? This is like a street view with the collar and the jumper. I love it. I love this look. Yeah, I want to make a few different things. Possibly look into a leather skirt or leather trousers at a later date. Right now though, it's this dress, it's that dress, it's um, this shirt. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. So yeah, there's like um, there's like a few things that I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, and every time I see something leather-wise that looks really cool, that I'm like, yeah, it goes in the file. So those are the three things that I'm kind of thinking of making over the next week two weeks we're gonna space out this project because it's like it's essentially three things i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make all three i might make two i've already started on one so let's talk about that fabric first so the first thing that i'm actually already started on because i got really really eager and started before i even started making the video is the shirt now if you'd seen back from my paris haul video i picked up this really beautiful cream faux leather that also had this matching um embroidered faux leather as well and i knew i was going to make a shirt from this um i kind of saw that oversized shirt a little while ago and it's always kind of been in my mind since then so um the pattern that i'm using for this is a vicky sews i think it's the ingrid pattern um it's a basically an oversized like jacket uh, jacket coat thing it is meant to be a coat and it's meant to be lined but because this is faux leather I'm literally just going to make it with the one layer and I'm not going to line it although who knows I might change my mind you know how things go um so because with faux leather you kind of need to cut everything on one piece as you can see I've kind of laid it out on this table I've been using my chalk to put these pattern pieces down and go around them and then mirror it on the other side so like there's the sleeves it kind of goes off the end and then for the back yoke for the pockets and for the cuffs I'm going to use this which is essentially as you can see the same color but just with a little bit of detail so pockets yoke um cuffs and maybe even the collar i don't know i'm still deciding when it comes to the collar but i've got enough to have it as lots of bits of interest <laughs> So I've 
just spent a bit of time pinning it together, just the main body, not the arms, because I just want to just check for size. I already did a paper fit of the pattern and that seemed to be fine, but I just want to do this one and just double check before we start stitching this together because I can't unpick any of these stitches because with leather and faux leather, once you make the hole, that's the hole. So we've got to be pretty precise with our sewing. So this is more or less the shirt as the main body. This is what the back is going to look like with the embroidered part. And it's actually pretty long. All that's left to do now is get some of the scraps, do some test stitches so I make sure I've got the right tension settings and all of that. And then we are going to very carefully, we're not speeding through this one, going to very carefully sew this together without making any mistakes because I can't fix them. We can't fix them, so no mistakes. <laughs> So I've been leisurely sewing this evening and we've got the back piece together with this little tab which you're supposed to put a button in the buttonhole but I think I might use my little grommet thing and put a snap button there instead. So that is the back piece. And then we've got the two front pieces which I need to put the pockets on but obviously because I can't make a hole or anything to... Uh, keep these on I've actually just taped them in place so I'm just checking the placement to see if they're equal on both sides and they look about right so then I am going to now sew around the edges here and then once that is done we can then put these on top and I think that's going to look quite cute so it's pretty late in the evening now and I don't really want to continue sewing, especially putting on the pockets um, because there's stuff that you can see at the front. You want it to be nice and neat. And I think the later it gets, the tireder I get. And we know that we really shouldn't be sewing while tired. So we're going to leave it at this today and then tomorrow morning, fresh and ready to sew, we're going to do that and then we can go ahead and start putting the arms together and kind of like putting it together <laughs> So the pockets are on and we're ready to put the whole thing together. I haven't put the little poppers on yet, only because the ones that I was looking at, I actually want a little bit bigger. So I've ordered some and they're going to be here in a couple of days. So I'm just going to do everything apart from the buttons, which will be snaps. But we can go ahead and sew the shoulders together, the side seams, and then we can work on putting the collar on and doing the arms. So that's what we're going to do next. <music> We have a little bit of a problem. I am putting the collar together, everything was going well, and now my machine, for some inexplicable reason, keeps jamming. I have done everything I can to fix the problem. We've changed the needle, I've taken it apart, taken out all the fluff, put it back together again, and it keeps jamming, and it's messing up my project, and I'm getting very frustrated. I'll show you what it's done. It's completely chewed up my collar. When I put it through the machine, this, this is what I get. Look at that. That is a mess. So it was fine all round here. Fine, 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 fine. I had a problem around there. And then the rest of it is just completely chewed up. So yeah, I'm finding it very frustrating at the moment. So I'm just going to take a break. I think now is a good a time as any. Take a break, go do something else. I'm, I might even pick this up tomorrow because I'm, I'm just really angry at my machine at the moment. And now, because this has happened to me before and it's happening more often now, I'm considering getting a new machine. I've had this machine for a really long time and I'm starting to notice that at least with the projects that I'm doing and the things that I'm doing, I need more from my machine. And then we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna stop for today, I guess, and uh, start again tomorrow when I'm feeling less angry with my machine. 
So it's been a couple of days since I was looking at this project. Um, I had to go to London for a few days, but I'm back now. And I ordered some new buttons because I needed some snap buttons for this project, but I also needed a few other snap buttons for some future projects. So I figured, let me get the size that I want. So they actually came in the post. So I've got a whole bunch of buttons here, which means I can now start finishing this project so what i've got here are three different colors i've got this kind of gold color here we've got this gunmetal gray and then we've also got this matte black um looking at the colors i think i'm going to go with the gold that goes best with what i want and then these ones can be for other projects so i've had to get out my very first machine that I ever had because this one, this one here has been giving me so much trouble with this. It's been chewing it up and I think it just needs a service and I've taken it apart three times already and it just doesn't seem to want to work. So I only really need a straight stitch for this. So we're going back to the old faithful and uh, I managed to finish my collar and yeah. Yeah, so I'm quite happy I still have this, but I am definitely considering getting the upgraded machine from this. So yeah, this has been good, but this doesn't do all the things that I kind of want it to do. This one, I was getting to the point where I was starting to think that I want it to do more things because I want to get something that quilts and embroiders. And uh, yeah, now that this one is basically on the blink and it's not being very cooperative, it's actually pushed me into thinking that maybe it's time for a new machine. So I had this one not that long before I decided to upgrade because I wanted to do buttonholes. And this one I've had for like 10 years. I think it's time. Uh, I am going to take it for a service though. Um, and then uh, I'll probably like give this one away because I know a few people um, that could do with a sewing machine and then this one will be my backup one once it's been serviced and fixed but I think it's time for a new machine so uh, yeah stay tuned for a new machine I don't know what it's gonna be but when I get it we will do an unboxing <laughs> Okay, so we are moving pretty quickly now. I've put the collar on and I put in the facing but without the lining. But what I'm going to do for this outside bit, I can just leave it flapping. I'm not going to. I'm going to just kind of bind the edges all the way round and down so it just looks nice and neat. And then uh, obviously when I fold up the bottom to um, hem that, that will sit in there. I've uh, put the arms in and I'm about to sew those in now. And then once that's done, I can try it on properly. Then we can mark out all the buttonholes and then I can use my handy little hand press machine to get all these buttons on. So I was going to put an extra cuff on here, but the way that the actual pattern is, this section here is folded inwards. So I might just, fold inwards and then sew around the edge and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so we have finally finished this and it is really cute on. So I will show you at the end of the video, you'll see what it looks like on and styled, but like I really like the gold buttons. I like everything about it. I, I'm glad I went with these different options here. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Love it. And now we're gonna go on to our next project where I will be using this faux leather fabric. Now this one I'm really excited about. So for this um, I want to make the square necked uh, like mini dress. I have actually already created a pattern while I was in London 
So I'm not at home every day. I spend a couple of days in London every week. And while I was there, I, I had my laptop. So I was able to uh, design uh, and make this dress from one of my pattern blocks. And what we're going to do is test it out before we cut it out to see if it works. So first thing first, we're going to make a 12 version out of the calico. And if that all fits and everything's good, then we can just get straight to cutting and uh, making it. And then I will put that in my pile of patterns that need to become patterns. <laughs> Okay, we've got the first cut out uh, twirl of the dress. Here is my pattern, which I stuck together and cut out. We're gonna stitch this together real quick and see what it looks like. I'm excited. Woohoo, let's go. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So I've really quickly sewed up the muslin of the dress and so far it's actually looking okay. It's only one layer, we're not doing a lining layer. So I'm going to try it on now and see how it fits. This is where the back zip's going to be. I made the back quite low and I tried to make this square but also like maybe with a little bit of a curve. So we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. Let's, let's try it on and see. Okay, so I've just put this on and I, I actually think it's it's almost the perfect fit. The back I need to um, close up, but when I close it up it will be sitting about there on my back and this is the front. The This bit here I think when it's zipped up will be fine. Also bear in mind that this top part is going to be lined so they'll it will go down and the straps will be thinner by about five eighths of an inch on both sides and I think it's a good length leg wise. I actually kind of like it. I think it was like very little tweaks need to be done. Awesome. Okay, so I've done a lot of tweaking. This is version number two of the 12. And this one is has the fit that I like the most. Uh, I took it in a little bit to make it a little bit more form fitting. I repositioned the straps so that they sat more dead center in my shoulder as opposed to here. Because uh, as you can see, that's gonna keep falling off. And I'm wearing a crop top at the moment, but normally when I wear a bra, it sits right there so I kind of want it to be hidden so I can wear a bra underneath this one um yeah um it kind of looks a bit weird at the moment because obviously I've cut where if when there's a lining that bit would be folded in um good coverage on the top and I think just overall it looks really nice um at the back I hand basted a zip and kind of played with, I think maybe on this side, played with what I think the back will look like. So it'll be like a nice low V. And altogether, you got yourself actually quite a really cute dress that's not dissimilar from the Pinterest pattern. So here I am here, and here is the dress so far. Like, it's not exactly the same, but I think it's pretty close. Uh, the one that's on the catwalk has more of a lantern thing going on with the skirt, but I think I would rather keep it like this for me, at least. So yeah, now that I've got the dress how I want it to look, uh, we're gonna cut it out in the fabric. And I've got some lining somewhere that is a green, so I need to find the green lining and um, it's gonna be a fully aligned dress.
dress shell is done all i need to do is the lining i have only made a partial lining of the top half i tried to find any other green this is the only green that i have so it's gonna have to do i'm only doing the top half to the waistline because when i tried on the dress it's actually quite slim fit in the skirt so i think i can get away with just hemming it the inside is actually like a really soft scuba type of material so it doesn't actually really need lining but I do want this area here to be nice and crisp and I don't want to fold it inwards so that's why we're partially lining the top so I'm gonna add that in now um, and then join it together at the zipper so then when you open it up it looks really nice and neat I'm gonna hem the bottom and then we're done with this dress which wasn't nearly as stressful as the last one so i'm gonna do this now and then i'll show you what they all look like on i'm so excited lined it zips up i'm not hemming it i can't be bothered honestly putting it through the machine was a bit of a nightmare so we're gonna leave it like this but i'm very happy with it it fits very very well so let's do some styling and i'll show you a couple of ways i might wear this and also a couple of ways i'll wear this as well <laughs> 